guys, what's up? This is Kat and welcome back to the bookish side of me. I am so freaking excited to share this video with you but before we start guys i've put some important links on the description box below please make sure to check that out so anyway guys this video consists of three parts the first one would be the unboxing of this book the second part would be the reading vlog and the last one would be my final thoughts my review things that i like and dislike about this book and what is my final rating i'm going to put timestamps on the description box below if you are interested in a particular part of this video but if you want to watch this from beginning to end thank you so much and i hope that you enjoyed the video let's start oh my goodness guys Finally, I have a package. <laughs> and I'm so excited to open this one. So even though there's a lot of background noise, you have to bear with that. I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna unbox this in front of you guys, okay? Oh, let's start. Oh my god, I'm so cool. So while I'm opening this, guys, just a quick story time this actually i ordered this from bookmax and shopee and this actually was scheduled to arrive last week i think it was thursday or wednesday but it got delayed in customs and pasay so that's why it just came today so today is thursday june 4 but anyway guys here's the box oh my goodness i'm so excited so if you're interested guys to order from booknacks i'm going to link their shop below on shopping and on instagram what i like about them is that they actually respond to like inquiries and my friend Gerald and I, we are so colette <laughs> and we keep on messaging them when this will arrive. So they're not really annoyed but they're responsive and they're very kind. So shout out to the Booknacks. Okay, meron ka. Wait lang. This is well packaged guys. Oh my god, I can see it already. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is the box and then I just scissored everything oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god sorry yeah i'm eating some baba oh my god logo from Booknacks. Tapos, they have free bookmark. Thank you, Booknacks, for that one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It is so beautiful. This book is one of the prettiest book cover I ever own. I'm not saying like ever in the whole world, but this is one of the most beautiful book I've ever owned in my entire life because I don't buy hardbacks ever. So you have your dust jacket and all that stuff. And then there is like a coat here. Is this a coat? And then of course, inside you have the synopsis of the book. I need to read that, sorry. And let's see what's in a beyond the inside cover. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh. <laughs> Ang ganda, bes. Ang ganda. Look at that, guys. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god. So, there you have it, guys. I've done the unboxing for this book and I thought of actually making two separate videos. One is for unboxing and then the other one is for the reading vlog but I thought I'm gonna read this book ASAP so why am I going to do two separate videos of course I'm gonna read it this week um, today is Thursday I still have like three books on my TBR for this week I think but I'm gonna drop some of them because I have to read this one 
ASAP. And I'm actually body reading it with Gerald from Gerald the Bookworm. But that's it guys. The next video would be my reading vlog of this book. See you later! Good morning. It's June 8th and it's Monday. But guess what? <laughs> I wasn't really able to read a lot last night because we were playing Mobile Legends and I was really exhausted. This morning, guys, I reached chapter 3 or 4, I think. But I'm on page 40 plus, like 45. And I just realized that this book is actually 500 plus pages and I don't know how I would be able to finish this one off immediately. I downloaded the audiobook for this book because it's a big chunk of a book and I just realized that. It's available in Audible you guys and if you have a credit in Audible you can get it for free but the Audible itself it's not free. I'm planning to get to the half of this today. Let's see, okay? Let's see you guys. Oh my god. I don't know what to feel. I don't even know what tab to put in this scene. This one is not particularly sad, but it's something that really warms my heart. I super love Lucy Gray. I love her as a character. Oh my god. Hey guys, good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm with Danielle and we are going to do some errands for today so while he's driving of course i'm going to use this time to read this book i tried to read last night but i ended up falling asleep so that's why i failed to do that so my plan for today is to finish the book but if not um at least i'm going to try to reach 400 page mark all right, I have nothing else to say, but this is your daily reminder to jump terror bill and support Black Lives Matter. See you guys later. So just a quick update today, um, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and we were supposed to go to the bank but there was a long queuing at around 10 in the morning so that's why they cut off the line early so we have to go, we're going back on Thursday instead and then we went to the mall to do some errands and that mall has national bookstore fully booked and book sale. And your girl will not risk her life in the mall without going to that bookstores. So with that, I have a haul that I'm going to show 
to you right now. So actually guys, I'm planning to do a video soon of a book haul because I have a lot of books to show you. But right now in this reading vlog, I'm just gonna show you briefly all the books that I've got today. I'm so freaking happy. I got eight books. All right, first off, I went to Fully Booked because I have some books in mind. I'm going to look for some books. And I got the one that I've been wanting for the longest time. And this is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. And then all the books that I'm going to show you right now are from Book Sale. I got seven books in Book Sale. And all of them, guys, I got them for 1,080 pesos. This seven books for 1,080 pesos. Oh my god, si Kuya. Nakita niya ako na vlog kasi nagmamani obra ka. Anyway, so I'm gonna show it to you briefly, but this would also be featured in my book haul. So first, I got Gun Girl by Gillian Flynn. Lux Opposition by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Uh, because I have the first two Lux editions. Mockingjay by Susan Collins. Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. <gasps> Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Cipetis. I'm so excited to read a book from her because she's been so hyped up in the historical fiction genre. And that's one of my favorite genres ever. So I'm so excited for this. But I don't know if it's historical fiction, okay? And then you won't believe what I got from book sale, you guys. The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. Oh my god, for 115 pesos. I love book sale. And last but not the least, my favorite book right now. The Kite Runner by Kala Desaini. Anyway guys, I got all these books in book sale for 1,080 pesos. And if that's not cheap, I don't know what else is, okay? I'm so freaking happy. This is my first time. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, there's no wala na dito. This is my first time to go to the bookstore in three months. I'm so freaking happy. By the way, that's it, guys. I'm going to update you later with my reading progress of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. But right now, we are heading home, and hopefully, we could take our lunch because we haven't taken it yet. Anyway, I'm so happy for today. Good morning. It's Wednesday today, June 10, I think. Anyway, guys, so for today, I'm currently here at the office because I'm going to start my work. But before that, I would like to give you a reading update. So on the last clip that you've seen, you will know that I was reading around 4 o'clock this morning. It's because I woke up at 2 a.m. and I just couldn't sleep, so... I thought I'm just gonna read and I reached 300 page mark last night. Today is another day and I'm going to give myself until today to finish this book. Um, I'm more than half of it. I'm right here. There you go. And so nandiyan na po tayo mga kapatid. Anyway guys, I'm just gonna read. I'm gonna stop talking and just read. See you later. Bye! So, I am on a work break and I'm reading this book. I am on page 447, so I have like more than 60 pages left or 70 pages. And can I just say, when Susan Collins announced that this sequel is going to be about President Snow's backstory, what I first think of is hopefully she will not justify or romanticize all the evil things that President Snow has done in the entire series. Like, oh no, please don't do that. And your girl, Susan Collins, followed that thought. This boy 
which is President Snow in the past, annoys me a lot of times in this book. Like, oh my goodness, his way of thinking was so annoying. But I have to admit, he is wise. His character, even when he's young, he's really wise. He is really smart and he knows how to play games with the capital and with other people. But also, he's manipulative. Oh my god, this annoys me a lot, this character. And I think it is understandable because this is the villain of this series. So I know that my emotions about him is valid. So I'm going to finish this one today and I'm going to let you know what I think about it. But so far, I'm getting what I want. There are just two characters in this book that would definitely break my heart if they die. Oh my god. I hate this guy. I hate Snow. I hated him in the trilogy. I hate him now. <sighs> this boy can't do any good. Oh god. Alright guys, so we are back on here, the sit down version of me and I'm going to share with you my thoughts and my review about this book that I've read for the past days and I'm just going to be honest with you and say that it's been weeks since I've read this so if I forgot some details it's because I'm just that dumb bitch and you already know that but anyway let's start first with the like the little bit overview or synopsis of the book if you are not familiar yet with what this is about so this is the story of Coriolanus Snow who we know as President Snow in the trilogy of the Hunger Games and this book follows his story when he was 18 years old I think and it's the 10th Hunger Games that basically it um I can't really go into details about what happened because there's a lot of things that happen in this book. I actually had a longer time finishing this book comparing to the Hunger Games trilogy. But anyway, let's move on to my final thoughts and review about this book. So if you haven't read this one yet, this is a non-spoiler review, but there will be parts of the like this whole video that I'm going to spoil some scenes in the book because I'd like to express myself and I'm just gonna warn you about that. I'm gonna put the word spoiler on the screen if what I'm going to say is a spoiler. Alright? Are we clear about that? First, I like to talk about the things that I like about this book. As we all know, I freaking love the Hunger Games trilogy. I love the world of Katniss, of Pita, the districts, the capital, and all that stuff. It's the first series that I fell in love back in 2014, 2013, or 2012. I forgot already. In this book, I really liked how Susan Collins introduced the capital and the districts in a different angle because here you will see how the hunger games were developed how the districts and the capital were distinctly separated from the beginning like the people in the capital and the people in the districts are not like on the same level even during this time so i really love all that backstory all that history you get to know when and how it started so i just freaking love that because i'm a sucker for historical fiction so that part of the book is somewhat like pleasing to me i love it so much and then secondly i also love the characters of this book like oh my freaking gosh i freaking love lucy graybeard I cannot express how much I love that character. 
um, I think everyone knows about this, but there is a character here named Lucy Gray Baird, wherein she is a tribute from the District 12, like Katniss Everdeen. But what I like about her character is that it was very different from Katniss's character. I like that about it. And then I also love some supporting characters in the book, but I don't like the protagonist, which is the antagonist as well. I don't know what to call Kirillinus though. No. Maybe he was the anti-hero in the story. So except for him, I love the other characters in this book. Tigris, oh my goodness, I love that character so much. All right. Third one is, I actually like this book more than I expected it to. Um, the reason that I was very hesitant to pick this book and read it is because I don't want to ruin my experience about the Hunger Games trilogy because it's everything to me and I just don't want to ruin that experience or that memory of it so I'm very hesitant to pick this up because this is about a villain and I'm very picky about an anti-hero story because there is a fear that the author might justify or romanticize the evil things that the villain does in the series so I know that you guys also get me in that so my first prediction is that I'm gonna give this a three star or a two star or maybe I'm gonna DNF this book that's my prediction like weeks ago all right so as I was saying that's the reason why I'm not expecting that much about this book but boy I was wrong about it I freaking love how Susan Collins wrote this book and proved me wrong because every time I feel like I'm warming up to the character of Coriolanus in this story like I feel something like pity or I feel kind of attached to his character and kind of want to like forgive him for everything this character will do something to remind you that hey I'm not a lovable character hey I'm not a good character you cannot love me like no not at all don't so I freaking love how Susan Collins kept undermining me why I freaking hate Coriolanus Snow from this book to the trilogy and also I was reminded how good Susan Collins writing style is like she knows what she's doing this woman knows how to play with my feelings and she knows how to do it and that's why i love it so much still the same feelings i have for the trilogy so those are the things that i like about this book also i just have to mention this that this book ruined me emotionally all the side characters in this book they ruined me they wrecked me emotionally I will never forget those characters and I feel like I want to cry every time I remember the characters that I lost in this book. So before I spoil you with anything, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what are the things that I don't like about this book. First off, this book has too many names, too many characters. girl. Just colored lahat ng aso po nagpa-party sila nag-uusap silang lahat baka lahat sila nasa labas ngayon I'm happy for them but I'm sad for my video Oh tapos may nagagawa na ngayon dun sa mga kapitbahay na <laughs> Ang funny talaga mag-film dito sa Pilipinas my god Anyway as I was saying um we are still on the 10th Hunger Games in this story and each district have two tributes, right? One girl and one boy. And then each tribute has one mentor. So in total, you have 24 tributes and 24 mentors with exotic and unique and hard to pronounce names. And it's just too much for me. Uh, I can't remember them all. That's one of my problems here because there are things that are happening and I can't remember who is who and what happened to who. So that's one thing. The second thing that I don't like about this book is that it's too long for me. 500 plus pages in a book is just too long for me. It's kind of dragging, especially on the third part. 
I feel like the third part of this book is unnecessary. Like, freaking no. I don't know what is it for. It's just that I think if Susan Collins cut off the third part and just end it on the second part, I think this book will get a 5 out of me because, oh my goodness, I don't like the third part at all. That's my third problem in this story. So that's it. And then the last thing that I don't freaking like about this book is going to be a spoiler. So if you haven't read this book yet, just skip to the part where the word spoiler is not on the screen anymore. But I'm just gonna say this that I don't like the ending of this book. I've already said that I love Lucy Gray Bird's character so much. And for Susan Collins to just end it that way without me knowing what happened to Lucy Gray is very very frustrating and I hate that. I don't know if the reason for that is because this is going to have a sequel or a follow-up book or a companion book or a novella book. I don't know but I don't like the open-ended ending of this book. I hope that I get to have a conclusion. The, the scenes became too intense and the like the feelings of the book, the vibe of the book became too intense and it's kind of building up to the end. But it's just, you know, you're, it feels like you were going to the climax, but it ended up in a very bad way. So you were disappointed. And that's the last thing that I don't like about this. I was disappointed in the ending. And if this will have a next book, a sequel to this prequel, I'm gonna read it still because I freaking love Lucy Gray. I want to know what's happened. I freaking want to know what's gonna happen to that character. So that's it guys. To end this video, this very long video, I'm just gonna say that I gave this book four stars out of five. It's still a good rating. Again, I thought I'm gonna give it like three stars or two stars, but I ended up liking this more than I expected it to. So four stars for me i love this if this is going to have a sequel in this prequel i'm sure i'm gonna buy it i'm sure i'm gonna read it because i love the story and i love susan collins writing style more than ever like mm, chef's kiss anyway guys that's it for this video and i'm just really glad that i was able to get my hands on this copy because as you all know it's my most anticipated book or release of 2020 so that's it for this video guys if you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more like reading vlogs or book review whatever give it a request on the comment section below please let's talk there but i also want to give a shout out to gerald from gerald the bookworm because we actually buddy read this book and it's just so fantastic i'm actually waiting for his video to come out but gerald i'm not pressuring you but feel free to be pressured <laughs> no just kidding but anyway guys go check out his channel he has amazing content you guys but anyway guys i already talked too much in this video i'm super tired i'm gonna go now and drink water and that's it. I hope that you are safe, you are healthy wherever you are, guys. And just remember, the world is yours for the reading. Bye, and see you on the next one.